Good day buddies, the best months to catch queen ants had passed. May to July, including early August, are considered the best, since most species will have their nuptial flights on this period. Sometimes, I take a trip to a forested area during this months of the year. Just to boost my chances on catching a much rarer species. But unfortunately, I didn't manage a single trip this year, cause of, the busy schedule. But as an ant enthusiast, we can't just stop, and miss the best season. Let's see how many queen ants I caught just around my house. And this time, using UV lights. Anyway, welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're also, welcome, to, D Colony. All the queens that I will show you on this video, was all caught by black light lamps, that I placed on different spots on my backyard. And I also used this UV flashlights as well. Disadvantage of using this method is, we will attract a lot of other critters as well. Termites. Beetles. Earwigs. Crickets, which I also collected, cause I will be making a video on how to culture them. And there, advantage of using this method is, we can easily catch queen ants passing by, cause they will be trapped to our UV lights. And we can actually witness the royals mating under the light. This is a great help to make sure you will caught a mated queen. We got 10 times more of this containers waiting buddies, so without further ado, let's check the queen ants we collected. We'll start with the acrobat ants. I caught 3 different queens on this genus. We got a shiny black queens, with yellow to white tips on its legs. Dark brown queens with a slightly darker gaster. And a queen with black head. Yellow to orange on her gaster and thorax, with some brown pigments. And yellow to brown color underside. And all of them are about 8 millimeters in size. I haven't get them 100% identified yet buddies, along with some of the queens on this video. So you may drop your thoughts on the comments. For the black trimatogaster queens, I set a three queen setup. I'm not sure if their polygynous, or pleometrosis will happen. So I also set a single queen setup, just in case. But I have raised a multi queen of black acrobat ants before, but I'm not sure if they were the same species with our queens now. I did the same and raise multi, and single queen setup with the dark brown crematogaster. And, raised the black head queen solo, as I only caught a single piece of her kind. Next, let's move to the ponerin queens. One morning, I thought I got bitten by a mosquito at the back of my neck. So I ended up slapping this poor queen. But luckily, I caught a similar looking queen at night the same day while using the black light. I believe this queen belongs to the genus Anoshitis, and she's about 3 to 4 millimeters in size. I've given this Anoshitis queen a tubs and tubes setup. I'm using this one which is too big, plus it's round, so we will not be having access to the side, about her progress. I love watching her buddies, but let's move to the next queen, Odontopunra transversa. I already placed them on this tubs and tubes setup, as they were also semi-claustral queens. I caught two, and we will try to raise them together, which I already did experience, raising a multi-queen colony of this species before. Let's just hope the queens are both mated, 
or at least one of them. Cause I didn't see any of them mating under our black light. For more details, on making a tubs and tubes set up for semi-claustral queens, you can refer to our video here on the iCard Buddies. I'm excited to show you our next batch of Queen's Buddies. Cause this are my dream ants to keep. Fdali Pava, which is extremely tiny ants. The Queen's are about 4 to 5 millimeters, and workers will only be 1 to 2 millimeters. We attracted massive number of Queen's on our UV light, but I only took 8 mated Queen's. As I will try to raise a 6 Queen colony. A single Queen colony, and a special queen colony, I'm not sure if they will perform pleometrosis, on our six queen setup. But even if it happens, this will still brood boost the colony. Just in case the workers will rived up, and ended killing all the queens, no worries cause we still have our single queen colony, just in case. We will also try to raise this special queen. But why I called her special? cause she have those buddies. Mites. This is the importance of checking your newly caught queens close up. Cause we'll be able to see this details, especially if we plan to raise a multi queen colony, we can avoid mixing queen with mites to the others. But why are we raising this mighty queen? The reason is, I have raised a pharaoh and queen before that's full of mites, but after the arrival of her nanitics, all the mites have disappeared. I'm not sure what happened but I think the workers killed the mites while grooming the queen. Cause they're small enough to deal with the mites. Plus I've seen pharaoh ants hunting spider mites before, and I believe, mighty queen workers will manage to do the same, as they were smaller than the pharaoh ants. Anyway, let's move to the next queens, which belong to the genus Colobopsis. I caught three of this queen, and they're about 15 millimeters in size. This one is in normal test tube setup. But I'll make another approach to the next two. As I find these queens kinda sensitive. I'm setting this cork to make an inner claustral cell. The cork with hole will make the queen more protected, and will lessen the stress. Will feel more protected, I mean. As the queen can perform phragmosis using the hole in the cork, which she should normally do in the wild during founding stage. And the outer cell will be like a feeding area, as my approach on raising colobopsis were like semi-claustral. I'll start offering protein once her first larvae had arrived as I have higher chances of raising this species in the past with this method. We also got two of this carpenter ant queens. I love how dark they are, and I think they are Camponitus barbicus, But not 100% sure. What I'm sure about is, one of them is mated, so I'm hoping at least one successful queen soon. We also got a famous invasive queen alert. Black crazy ant. I already set her up on a test tube. I'm not yet sure if I'm going to raise her, but let's see first if she's mated, before I decide. Speaking of invasive species, we also got tons of invasive queens like fire ants. And pharaoh antelates. I collected as much as I can, and put them in a plastic bottle. We're not going to raise them. But, we'll gonna put them to the freezer to die. I'm doing this, every time I caught elates of invasive species. Cause they will be dangerous to my pet ant colonies if they found their colony successfully, near my house. And will also post a great danger to the environment as well. Invasive queens that I caught is considered as tip of an iceberg. But eliminating this small portion still better than, doing nothing at all. I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time, by granting my wish and tapping the like and share button, that would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye, for now, but hoping to see you on my next videos.